hello everyone this is webby uh, so how's your uh, preparation is going on so i know you are busy in your shifts providing service to people but uh, we are making videos on different systems so that you can check it out whenever you are free and prepare for your singerini staff nurse exam so guys uh, to get notified regularly whenever we make our videos please subscribe our channel the nightingale tales and hit that bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you get notified regularly so uh, i suggest you to support and grow us help us in growing because this is a professional page guys so we'll read it for you and we'll explain it for you Uh, more conveniently than any other pages so i personally suggest you to subscribe our channel so let's get started today i'm going to make video on the excretory system so the questions are so first the most common viral infection after renal transplant it is a herpes zoster b herpes simplex c cytomegalovirus and d viral uti so every op option they have given is a virus so the most viral infection after renal transplant is it is option c cytomegalovirus so you can see here this is cytomegalovirus is the answer so we'll see now so you can see here this is cytomegalovirus cytomegalovirus is the answer uh, so the patient who have undergone the renal transplant uh, will be on uh, prophylactic treatment uh, for cytomegalovirus um, so that he won't uh, get infected by the virus so next question the normal glomerular filtration rate is normal gfr is option a 90 to 120 ml option b 120 to 150 ml option c 60 to 90 ml per minute option d 30 to 50 ml per minute so what might be the answer so everyone knows that normal gfr uh, e ranges from option a that is 90 to 120 ml per minute but it differs from age to age uh, so you should always consider adult category result or adult category range so that you will get into a correct answer they, al they always if they, if they ask the normal range then it is the adult range you should tell the adult range uh, so here is the answer it is 90 ml 90 to 120 ml per uh, minute and you can see here there are uh, age and uh, according to ages the 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 gfr rate uh, changes so be careful with it guys you uh, you should always uh, answer adult range when you when they ask you for normal one so next what is the excretory unit of a kidney option a nephron option b henle's loop option c bowman capsule option d glomerulus so uh, when we consider this b c d that is henle's loop bowman's capsule and glomerulus you can see that they are the part of the nephron that's all they have their own functions but the basic functional unit of kidney is nephron what is the function of kidney is it is it performs excretion so functional unit is nothing but excretory unit so you can blindly opt for this option that is nephron as it is the basic functional unit nephron so here is the answer it is nephron this total part is nephron and uh, the glomerulus henle's loop are the just parts of the nephron but it is not nephron the functional unit of kidney is nephron you should remember that so next the main function of a kidney is to a eliminate oxygen b regulate fluid balance and removing waste products 
C metabolize vitamins D eliminate carbon dioxide so if we see these four options are are the functions of the kidney the kidney performs all these four functions but what is the question is you can see the question observe the question carefully they are asking the main function of the kidney so what is the main function of the kidney among this so it is answer b answer b regulating fluid balance and removing waste products here so you can see here regulate fluid balance and removing waste products while these are all the kidney functions you can see that fluid balance and removal of waste products and from the blood stands first so this is the primary function of a kidney and you should tell whenever a person or a paper asks you what is the primary function or the what is the main function of the kidney you should always remember that is fluid balance and the removal of waste products from the blood while kidney also performs other functions but the main two functions are these okay so coming back to next question when the posterior bladder wall protrudes downwards to through the anterior vaginal wall this condition is known as you know uh vagina vagina bladder and rectum all stands at the position of the bladder and vagina and the rectum and anus will be like this so the question is when the posterior bladder wall protrudes downward sorry this will be the bladder and here will be the vagina so if it protrudes like this this is vagina this is bladder and this is anus so when the posterior posterior wall of bladder falls over the vagina what might be the condition may be so if you if you can't decode a question with the anatomy uh, you can decode it with the terminology so what is the what is the meaning of a bladder guys in terminology can you say it bladder bladder is also known as cyst you got it right when the posterior bladder wall protrudes down through the anterior vaginal wall this condition is known as a rectocele b pyocele c cystocele d bubonocele so it is every option is same when it comes to last four words so bladder means cyst I'll, uh, already said you that bladder means cyst so you can blindly put a option that it is cystocele so let's see the answer see i already said you it is cystocele so here you can see the condition this bladder is falling over the vagina the posterior wall of bladder is protruding to vaginal wall so this condition is called cystocele so next bun used for kidney function test sands for so what is bun a blood urine nitrogen blood uric acid nitrogen blood uracil nitrogen blood urea nit nitrogen so you can see this is a renal profile carried out for uh, uh, kidney patients so after admitting a patient into a nephrology ward everyone will uh, take this uh, profile uh, so you can blindly say that it is blood urea nitrogen so here is the answer answer is d it is blood urea and nitrogen they will uh, ask you what is the bun in renal profile so it is you can abbreviate it like blood urea and nitrogen that's all
So next question. A patient is scheduled for an IVP using a radio opaque dye. Which of the following assessment is the most critical before the procedure? A. Measurement of baseline, peripheral pulse. B. History of intake and output. C. History of allergy to urine. Measurement of height and weight. So, so guys, this is wrong. It is history of allergy to iodine. So, the option is, uh, there is a spelling mistake. So, please excuse me. So, we will continue. It is history of allergy to iodine. So, it's intravenous pylogram. If a patient is uh, scheduled for intravenous pylogram, so every investigatory uh, investigation is carried out through plain or uh, this contrast radio opaque substance that is hexoiodine that it uh, contains iodine. So, uh, uh, well, measurement of pulse or intake output height weight is carried out regularly for the patient, but uh, you should ask for the history of whether the person is allergic to iodine or not as we are injecting a radio opaque dye a contrast to the patient so it is important to confirm whether the patient is allergic to iodine or not or else he will land up into a critical situation and uh, we can't do but there is an alarm so you can see here answer the history of allergy to iodine next normal specific gravity of urine is so guys everyone must be aware of the basics that is normal specific gravity normal blood cell count lifetime of blood cells and hemoglobin count everything so here are the four options uh, for uh, the examiner will give you four options which are related closely so that they, uh, they'll confuse you but remember you should whenever they ask the normal parameters you should be very quick to give the answer so the answer is a it's one zero 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 one two one zero one point zero three zero so yeah this is the range uh, the normal specific gravity range but they uh, within these limits there could be any one so it it will be considered as normal so coming back to next question distension of renal pelvis caused by obstruction to normal un urine flow is okay they, uh, they are asking a condition that is caused by obstruction to normal urine flow so answer here are the options a renal failure b renal calculi c hydronephrosis d polycystic kidney the uh, among the four options it is hydronephrosis guys because whenever the renal pelvis is obstructed you can see there is obstruction and there is no urine flow and that in that case this condition arises that is hydronephrosis next question when receiving hemodialysis the complication of the removal of too much sodium may occur therefore the nurse should assess the client for so these are the options a first x sign b cardiac dysrhythmias c muscle cramps d increased temperature so the condition is concerned with the sodium if the, there is a loss of sodium too much from a body what will the patient experience symptom like okay let's i'll explain you so if coming to D, increased temperature, temperature has nothing to do with sodium because it is associated with infection. Cardiac dysrhythmias are not associated with sodium but it is associated with calcium. So, it is also a wrong answer. Now, this Stoswick sign is not considered with the sodium too. So, you can blindly opt for the option that is option C. This is the right answer that is calcium, muscle cramps. So, here you can see the picture. If a person is experience, experiencing sodium loss, so he will get a symptom of muscle cramps. Next 